Hi guys, and yes, it's I'm more Central back again. Um, it's been a good summer holidays, but we are now back on the recording schedule, um, or the recording schedule as it gets. Um, doing some more OMSI videos for you guys properly. We've had a bit of a variant over the past six weeks of vlogs, um, etc. Just to tie you guys over, but if you notice, some of our bus videos have been very busy because I've been travelling around, recording different buses and um, sampling different and recording different videos and what have. Um, and photos in different locations, but now we are back. Um, and today we are on what we're going to be learning. And on a way or not, due out until 30. That's weird, just told, and I'm gonna have to change this because this never clocks on at all, and it's really painful. Um, 1558, I have a feeling that that 1558 is ours, but it's gone for us. Oh, it isn't actually. Okay, let's have a look and see if we can find us. That be us, 16.80. Yeah. Then we'll clock that on as 15.30. We're driving Route 6 today to um, round Ashby. I've done this route quite a lot and it is a nice one. I'm not going to have traffic on full like I usually do when I drive this route. Just purely because otherwise it's going to go fucking mental. Well, end the game. Like it is now, for example. It's just, it's freezing already because of how big the map is. I was a bit iffy about recording this because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. So hopefully it works. I'll just skip the time for a bit. What's funny is this is Scumfops the terminus of um, one of the routes that I saw passing me today because I spent today in Hull. Goodness sake, we got round the corner and it's already dropped FPS. There we go. Um, but I went to Hull today and yeah, so I few 50s. I basically went mainly for the 67 plates. For those of you who are bus, proper bus geeks like me um, and extend their bus knowledge from Omsi to real life or basically IRL, whatever you call it. Um, 67 plates started 20 serves with East Yorkshire Motor Services yesterday. So I went today to get a few pickies of them. Um, although I don't know when this is going to upload actually. Well, basically, it's the second today as I record this for reference. I'm in competition with them, but hey, okay, well. But I haven't been doing OMSI, um, proper OMSI videos just because I just haven't had time. I've been very busy uploading other stuff. Oh, that was because of blooming lag. Uh, let's pause that for a sec. Um, basically, I'll show you depot while it's freezing up. I'll, I'll put arrows up as I can't actually remember where the depot is. As bad as it is. It's up here. Um... here is the depot so for those of you who don't know the staggy depots here and we will bypass the um Halsby depot on our way around today flipping heck fps on meter jeez <laughs> i do like driving for stagecoach i always tend to do stagecoach runs when i'm on this um route Yeah, as I say, I've been very busy and I do apologise for lack of videos. I know that this came out, it's gone for what we're driving now, it's gone for 2016 to come out. Um, and we've had, I think, an update of DOTW, I think. Or am I making that up? We've had another, we've had another map come out that caused a bit of a stir. I think it's BOTW um, because of Route 35 being made up. Um, but I, I, I haven't driven that yet, sadly. No, I don't think I have actually. I've been mainly stuck on this. So we're back doing all this. Um, give you the usual updates. Oh, um, have a thought. Is he not one? Oh, yeah, there is an Ash. Have I parked it our front curve? 
man in der Taxi zu. Ich schlage ja alles an, was doch so ausfällt. Have a thought is still being worked on. Um, I James passed me the map of his little a fair bit of work on Molten. Um, unfortunately, due to a miscommunication, it's kind of the Leeted West Leeds area, so there's no current power plant area, airport area that has all been deleted, or university area for that matter. So, yeah, and there's also no Hebden Bridge currently. So that's my task is to rebuild doors, basically. Um, but does it, um, the team is being expanded and we're working on the project. Um, I can release you the final routes um, and operators. The final um, or the first draft of ideas, routes, and operators, first draft of operators is currently including first leads. First um, Molten, they'll be based at Hepton Stall Out Station. Um, Yorkshire Tiger, that's going to be based um, where the current Square Peg Yard is, that hasn't been new with the such in the map. Um, Geldars are still going to be based at their current yard, and Arriva are going to be based at a new depot where Scania Bus and Truck used to be in Molten. Um, all being well, there is going to be some expansion when the map is fully sorted. We're going to be expanding it southbound. I'm going to be introducing a new area for the airport with um, a current diagram planned of around 15 to 20 services on the current map that is currently standing, although that has varied a little bit due to some of the roads being non existent now. Um, but mainly. But mainly we currently have um, around 15 to 20 services that have been confirmed. Um, there's going to be a few new links, a few new concepts, ideas, routes, a um, few competition services, um, etc. There is also um, around 5 to 10 planned services if the map does get expansion, expansion, extended. So if the map does get extended and there is further planned 5 to 10 services, that may potentially also be added onto it. That is pending um, if this if the work takes place. Um, I'll just let it catch up. The plan is to have a nice area down um, further south. I would, if I was a professional YouTuber at this point, there would be a screen coming on the board uh, where your screen now saying, "Oh, we've got maps and things in here," but no. I still go by a four piece of paper that I'm reading in front of me. So, yeah. So, I'll try and find the right piece of paper while this is loaded. But, yeah, there's going to be a few nice services added. Um, from Leeds is going to be the main extension in the Haverford Reborn is going to be southbound. Although we are going to reinstate some sort of westbound area. Um, Parker might have been worked on as well. I know we're going to try um, the current release date for it, although this is subject to change and may have changed now due to how some of the roads have gone and how some of the map has been done because uh, currently the city goes from city to instant rural, so there's going to be, have to be an urban area built. Um, as soon as that urban area is built, we'll be fine. Let's see how much it is. So I knew this was going to be bad. Oh, have I just cut someone off? Oh god, this is what happens when the cameras are lagging. No, I haven't. I've got loads of space. Oh, two deckers! 34. Hello. And... Number six. I'm going to put him. Now I've got to pull into that thing. Um, well, there is an expansion southbound um, being planned, southwest and southeast. The southeast expansion is going to be the introduction of a new local town that Arriva are going to base the majority of their services off. 
they're going to run um, the plan for the name of the place is going to be thinning to currently there's going to be an express um, service X5 from Leeds run by first Leeds that is going to run down past Shipley it's going to go around that way instead of down cross uh, it's going to go around Shipley and um, then it's going to go onto the motorway and on the motorway it's going to follow it's then going to go down the like motorway slip bit that was coming at the main then it's going to join a major motorway that will work across that um, and will then make its way down through a few villages to Dinnington there will then be oh gosh lights have changed there will then be a false and stick service that will be running hourly or so from um, Hagden Bridge that will run down to Dinnington and there should be a more intimate of a room than she had to get a number that runs between Moulton and Dinnington. So it should be quite good for expansion um, and all. Yeah, it should be quite good. The um, South West expansion project is going to be um, the introduction of two services. The 77, oh look that's 103 over there. This is quite nice back in the um, for goodness sake, the South West expansion is going to be introduced in made of basically two routes, the 576 and the 787. Um, the 787 is going to be a, a half hourly coach service. One of the duties is going to do an X91 in the morning that will run by first. Why do I keep going in the wrong lane for these roundabouts? Take a bit more attention. Um, right, but at least there's no traffic. Um, but that's going to run down the other way, down cross gates, then down the motorway like the X5 and instead of going um, east on the next motorway it's going to go west so I'm going to go down and go direct to the airport on the motorway there is then also going to be a slow version of that that's going to be the 576 it's going to go all over the place again run by first leads um, but there's going to be one coach duty in the morning because there's going to be some interesting duties when it comes to the new 590, 591929394 network and X91 and um, there's going to be a few interesting duties on there one of which includes if you're doing the first X91 in the morning to peak hour um, you'll end up using a coach so just adds a bit of variety now there is a new concept with the X91 and 594 but I'm going to let a map explain that and that map is going to go up on the Haverford Reborn um, fellow from this forum that'll explain basically the frequencies of the services how often they're going to run the ta rough timings of the services and how they're operating basically because it's it, it, I've got it in my head it's a, good, it's a good concept it's going to provide nice long services as well but what's going to be quite good with it is the main idea is to get rid of the Moulton locals, utilise all the air, all the roads around Moulton and provide a bit more of an interesting route um, for drivers. So they're coming out of the city, going through urban urban areas, housing estate, and then ending up in a really rural terminus to like quite a few to pick from. So the idea is there. It's also going to win to link with the Hebden Bridge network. I'm surprised how quiet this bus is to be honest. Because usually I get quite a few people on it, must be because I've set the passenger levels too low. But the passenger levels it was, I thought it still got a few feet. I'm not fast, nice man. Probably am really stupid early, aren't I? Oh no, I'm not actually, I'm only running a minute and a half early. It's not bad for me. Oh no, I'm not, I'm one, one minute and eight now. It's getting worse. I do really like this map. We'll, we'll go off the topic of Aberthor. The rest of the details and all of the um, draft one plans um, for the routes and the frequencies that's all like the interesting stuff. I know that the whole, the whole map works kind of nice, but all the groups and the frequencies and ideas are really interesting. Um, so I will be publishing those when I get a few um, paint on net diagrams together um, ASAP. 
because I think you guys will quite enjoy it because this is what's kind of good with the Haverford project is that I know some people do focus on maps a lot and then just put any routes in but I take quite a bit of quality control over my routes so I want my routes to be perfect and to be interesting um, and to have like variety in them so that's why I've spent a whole at the moment I've spent the whole like six or odd weeks finalising routes and thinking of ideas and making sure that ideas can work so I'm making sure we've got the right operators in because this is the thing some people can think oh you can get any operator and to be honest you might be able to but you want to get the right operator that you feel for that area of the map so what do they operate in real life how can that relate to your map and that's why I've spent that's why I've spent a lot of time working to ensure that the routes that I have got are perfect or not not perfect but about 90% there so that they cater for what the map wants to be bringing um, and plus it's going to be more buses on the Molten to lead section I know that the problem I had is in the first edition of Haverford or like just after the first edition when I introduced the rail replacement there was stupid ton of buses between Moulton, like Ebden Bridge and Leeds, there was a stupid ton. And you don't need so many, you don't need millions of buses. So that's why there's an every 10 minute basic frequency on the, fi on the 59 network. Um, and on the Geldars it's going to be every 20 minutes. And then at peak time the X the 591s are going to be replaced with X91s. So there'll be a 20 minute gap sometimes between all stopping services as the next night one comes through but yeah I've got the idea in my head when the map when all the roads are finished and the roads start I mean I'm sure quite good I've just got to make sure that all the services cater for what I'm hoping them to have I know being well they will I know that oh, I know that not all the routes are going to be perfect I know that what you want to 180 we're at bottom, isn't it? 180, 105, uh, so it's really tired today. Is it not? Is it probably not letting me? There we go. Two quid, one quid. Does that come up? Oh, it comes. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah, I don't have an upstairs camera. But yeah, there's some quite exciting news. Um, I'll give you the OMSI news next. Um, it's like in, in my OMSI videos now, we just have a, a feature order of the order of stuff that comes in. So you watch the first. If you want to watch the whole of me driving video, go for it. But if you if you wanted to find out about Haverford, you watch the first 20 minutes. If you want to find out about the OMSI news, keep watching until the end. Uh, and if you just wanted to look at a map review, you watch to the very, very end. There we go. Perfect now. Um, on the news now. Um, and we do have the ALX 400 by 3, V3D um, coming along. That would be quite nice. Um, that should be very, very good. Um, I've seen videos of it. I We've all seen videos of it. We've all seen screenshots of it. We've all seen the um, thread form going absolutely flipping mental. Um, yeah, it's going to be really good. But that is not the major news, as we are all, are all aware that's been in work, work in progress for bit. We had a very special two part announcement given to us quite recently to do with the C200. So there is going to be a C200R that I personally, if it's anything like this vehicle that we're currently driving, it is going to be brilliant. Um, I'm looking forward to the C200R, C200 Regional. It should be a very nice addition to the map. I've already got some routes planned. But the main bus I'm looking forward to is the C200 Fictional Bendy Bus that is going to hopefully be the first ever left path Bendy Bus for us. Um, I'm already working out how I can get it into Haverford because I've kind of converted the bus station to reversing bays now. But I'll find a way. Um, the problem we've got is it, it, it's like what they're doing. I'll mention shortly, um, Little Alexa, about real life. 
um, and Bolton Bus Station. But just to cut it short, they have they are getting rid of Bendy's in Manchester purely because they've opened the bus station with reverse invers. So that's the main concern. Why isn't this working? Flipping heck, what's it loading? Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what it's loading. Oh no, no, it's working now. No, it doesn't. It doesn't want. To. Um, but I'm gonna have to find a way to see if I can fit that bus in the map because I can't. It'll have to be banned off every single service of reverses, and it can't go on the guideway. Although they did trial buses going on the guideway in Leeds when they are, when they hired an Aberdeen um, or Palma 5NG, it didn't work. And yeah, that was the last of it. There we are on the depot. I think that's how you say it. Um, but I'm not going to have um, park and ride services just purely because of that and because the park and rides have been put together so there's going to be two park and rides put together um, but I'll find somewhere for it um, we've also got the street I think it's street air uh, I think that's the wrong name street something that's basically the single deck version of a street deck that's been made by Lowell on the 21 Studios. Unaware of if that's going to get released or not. I don't know if it will. Um, but it, 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 it could do. It could do. Just, I'm just going to put... I'm glad I've paused it here. I'm just confused. How do these people get into their houses? Like, I'm not going to lie, but I wouldn't want to buy a real estate property to find out that I have to climb over a... What will be... That's quite tall. <laughs> Nearly the size of the bottom half of a car brick wall every morning imagine getting a push chair imagine having kids gotta take a flipping push chair over that wall the neck real estate in Grimsby would be well down low if, the, if houses are like this something like that oh hell well, I shouldn't criticise there's probably areas like that on my map I'm not going to lie, but the only two runs I've done on this map is the hospital and the ash. I haven't actually done any of a run, so I do need to try doing a bottle for the something. something. But I just I like the six because of the frequency, you pass other vehicles on your route. And it's quite nice, especially it's nice, because what I do sometimes is when I'm not when I'm not recording, and when I first got the map, what I did is I did it at peak time and sent the traffic up to full. And coming out of Grimsby, going over that bridge that we passed previously, that's a real bad bottleneck. And cars really build up there. Alright, y'all wanting that, so I will give you your change. That is, and the bridge not with it today. 2035. I know you desire a ticket, hold on. Patience. Said a word. It's got padded in the top corner. Um, but I forgot what I'm, I forgot which what. Yeah, I've only driven the Ashby's um, hospital, so I do need to try a bottle for or something. If you want me to drive another map on the a route on this map, do let me know. Feel free to uh, message me and let me know. Um, something else about the comments. I can't get around to every comment because I have so many videos now. I do heavily struggle getting around the comments. So if you're watching a video from a year year ago or even a few months ago, I only check the comments of the updated videos. So there's no point really of commenting past videos. Every so often when I get a chance, if they buzz up I'll check them, but I don't have a chance. So if I don't reply to your comments, it's nothing against you. It's just I haven't got round to it yet because I'm very busy. And because I've got a year full of GCSEs this year, it's kind of going to get worse. So I'm not going to lie, but the channel's going to go for quite a bad period this year. I'm going to try and make up for that bad period by getting Hammerfort released this Christmas. Um, or I'll get, I will definitely get some sort of map released this Christmas, even if it's just a re-upload of on the buses with a few new routes. I am going to get a map released at the end of this year for Christmas. I can promise you that. Um, I don't know what it is yet. But 
there is going to be a map release for you guys this Christmas. That is for makeup because I know for a fact that we're going to be running late um, this year and we're not going to have any sort of schedule at all. Um, I know that Amza Buses UK is going to be carrying on with videos and I will keep supporting him. Edward Fowler is doing an absolutely brilliant job. I just like to give a shout out to all, all the usual guys. Edward Fowler is doing a good job. He's gone quite solo now. I don't talk to him that much. It's a shame. If you're watching this, Fowler, do come and join us on Discord. I'm missing you there, man. We're missing you. But yeah, he's, he does his show now and it is quite good. I recommend you do watch it. You get all the latest news and things. Um, for example, they did about that Van Hall pack that was a, it's the first ever freeware release. Or the first ever proper freeware release on Steam. I know that the other freeware was the AI Bendy Bus, but you can't exactly drive that. So, the first freeware release properly um, is talked about the Van Hall. So, if you want information on that, do watch that, as I do. I don't really do right path stuff now. Um, but, I hope it works. Let's check it's still recording, shall we? Dun, dun, dun. 26 minutes. Oh, taking me a while to get around here. How? Anyway, I'm running five minutes early. For goodness sake, no wonder there's nobody that stops. Oh, I'm with. Well, it's gone weird now because I came out at game. Oh, it's this housing estate. The problem you've got is this housing estate as it goes around is stupidly bad for lag. It really is. Um. It's not too bad when I'm not recording, but when I've got OBS open, OBS is very heavy, so it, it, it takes a lot of memory. Just don't understand why it's going all those and it can't settle itself. It's going solid, then it's going bad. Is it just like loading everything in, in the current area? So now I've, set, I've changed the settings because I've not been able to edit parts of Parapar, so I don't know anything to do with that. I do apologise for stopping, at some point I will play my PC. Um, oh my gosh, you've given me a £20 note. Can I, can I pull the um, bus driver's £20 note without any change first, please? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's typical, isn't it? Ask for a £3.60 ticket that much. Um, now I've got to try and find you. Two, four, six, eight, ten, um, twelve, fourteen, uh, uh. Oh god, I went to pound short then. Oh, pardon me. They're giving me a solid twenty pound note. It's not even a week rider. Although it's not as bad as, um, I went into a Burger King recently and I think it was some tourists who were in the same Burger King and it, it, and they gave a £50 note over, that is the first ever £50 note I've ever seen and they were buying something for about 3 quid I don't, I, I, it wasn't 3 quid, I think it was about like 8 or something they were buying something for 8 quid and gave a £50 note over and one woman just looked and just went, no just that face of disbelief. I've never seen a £50 note in my life. Is that what first £50 note I've ever seen? Well, there's a first of everything, isn't there? I wouldn't like to hold a £50 note. It's purely because it's, just, it's so much money in one piece of paper. You know what I mean? I'd rather have the money in notes, pound coins. I just wouldn't want it in the solid pound note. Just wouldn't feel right. Wouldn't feel right. Well, that, that's just my opinion, as I say. My opinion on the girls a certain distance. Ah! Rest in peace, FES. Now, I've got to warn you guys, there's a bad road here. So we go down here, and we go round this quite bad FPS corner, and then we get to the end of here when we make a right. And that right turn is going to be horrific for FPS. Yeah, it's already going terrible. I just don't understand. I just never understand why the FPS is so bad. It's like on my map. My map has roughly the same amount of scenery as this. 
ish. Don't question it. Um, and it doesn't suffer half as bad as this. And I'm not, I never understand that. As I say, the one vehicle that I'm really excited about is the C200 um, Bentley. I'm really excited about that. Um, I know we're supposed to get the Mercedes Bentley, but that never took off. Um, that got abandoned in that project. Um, but the C200 Bentley should be really good, as the, the community has had a long time waiting for a Bentley vehicle. Um, and it, it, it should jump in right at home. I'll find a route for it, hopefully. It'll probably be when I rebuild the university area, because I'm going to rebuild the university area with a new campus. Um, so, when I rebuild that with the campus, I'll try and fit it so the bus can fit around there. But the issue I have is then it can't serve the bus station. I put it right in the table. Cats and bus station because it. Although they have they used to reverse bend the buses in the past, it is not safe to reverse bend the buses. Now it isn't anyway. So although it probably it happens in like abroad, but they don't do it anywhere in the UK no more. So. To be quite honest with you, I'd rather just keep it. How low can you go? How low? I'm, that is going to be the new theme tune is that for every time it FPS decides to die. Yeah, look now we're fine. This is what I'll never understand. I do understand it because it annoys me. It annoys me. That, that's it. You know what I mean? Oh no, it ain't as bad as it used to be. We are running. We're going to end up catching up to the Harvey um, Eclipse 2 that's in front of us soon. Because this is the thing I just keep driving. I just keep driving and because I drive so fast, I know I should really run early in a video. But there's nothing I can do with the timetable being timed so silly. Because this is the thing I usually care about the timetables, but I'm not too fast because it is this one is a bit silly. Oh no, we don't, we don't have a bouncy bus. Oh my gosh, it's me there. Uh, that's one way. To, that's one way to miss out speed bumps. Flag over him. Yeah, I don't think there's much more I can discuss to do with um, how I thought. I've got other plans in front of me, but these are going to be released, as I have previously mentioned, on fellow films as soon as they are finalised. Because I don't want to say stuff and then I find out that that area of the map has vanished. Really, if I, if I can help it. Um, because there's a lot of work's going ahead. Um, me and Jamie have got a lot to do. But, as I say, Jamie's been working on it over the six week holiday while I've been round about on every single bus and down to Um So, and now it's my turn. Now it's going back to school days, it is my turn um, to take over the map and to work on the project. So, as I say, I'll just try and see what I can do. There's a lot of work to do in it now, though, sadly. Um, just getting a few stuff packed that should have already been there, but... Right, we've got a lot of areas to house as well. We've still got to house all of Shipley, um, because the bus station... Oh gosh, I pressed the button, and it's done some... Oh no, wrong button. Oh no! Everything's going wrong! Oh! There we go, I switched them off. Anyway. 
why or oh, why or oh, why has it gone so low? Oh, there's a flute, flute in that ball. The next is just slow, and then it just goes perfect. And now, let's look. Perfect. Slow. Perfect. Slow. Then we've got solidarity as well. Oh gosh, did I just leave someone behind? Oops! Oops, sorry! There's no one behind, I will reverse, I'm not supposed to, this is unprofessional, but... Stop it, I didn't see that woman, she was hiding in the bush shelter. I think she blended in with the bush shelter. don't know this is a real place where i am driving now actually exists in real life this route exists maybe not this bus but you get the idea i wouldn't imagine this route being run by deckers but anything's possible it's a re it's a reverse middle not a reverse stagecoach is middle and i'm very tired very very tired um This FPS, I'm not going to lie, is kind of doing my head in now. How far are we into the video? 37 minutes into the video, and the FPS still hasn't packed it in. It's kind of peeving me now. It really is. Oh, solid 20. Woo! I'm just going to keep driving now regardless. So don't go over this middle bit. I've forgotten about this before, but I've gone right over it. We'll try and get the video done soon. Because this is supposed to be times like a 50 minute route, but yeah, done so well anyway. Although with this video without all we're about to do of 50, 50 minutes on anyway. Flip it now. Rest in peace, FPS. Ah, oh, flip it up. Why does everybody give so much turn? How, how are they all rich? Fucking rich living in a council house. Flipping heck. Oh, this bitch. Fifty. Twenty. Ten. Five. I have this up. So I. 20 quid! £1.70 and you've given me a 20 quid. Oh, uh, who thought this? A. Ten. 12, 14, 15, 17, 20, 30. Excuse me, love, you can't exactly expect me to give you a ticket instantly when you're just giving me a £20 note. Why am I giving you that chance? Thank you, it's now. I don't know. I mean, because I'm supposed, I was supposed to give an extra two, yeah. Now in real life, Hornsby's only have um, one C4, or not C4 on the ground, but they only have, I think, one Decker, I think it's an ALF 400 Trident. I don't know if they have more, all I know is, is it's only ever been one Decker right in service. Just for those realists out there. 
now I'm, I've actually totally forgotten, but now we've gone past the same location I remembered the exit I was going to do. That would be the Um Now, going into real life, um, the Bendy's have. Uh, the, the Bendy's from today onwards, basically, from tonight onwards, because the new bus station opens tomorrow. There will be no um, Scania Romney City Bendy buses operating in First Manchester. Um, sadly, this is due, and quite sadly, because I don't like the new bus station, this is sadly due to the new bus station opening tomorrow. Now, I know it's a nice investment for the new bus station, but the old, the previous bus station that, um, were, that is operating today, that's Saturday until 23.59, so it's still got a few hours left. Um, has served that has served that town for many years now, um, and was located right next to the Moor Street Market. Um, Mr. Brown's reference, um, but was located right next to the market and was on Moor Street, so it was always known as Bolton Moor Street Bus Station. I think, I think it was Moor Street. Don't know. Oh, don't just. I'm going to have to go now, what an absolute nutcase. Acts like he's going to let me go and then drive through me. Yeah. Um, well, it is shutting that's going to be a shame because it, it's the end of the bin buses and it's the end of what used to be an absolutely brilliant bus station at the heart of the market town that it is and the community. Um, the new bus station is next to the rail station and with the new bus station works as they kind of been doing the train station and they kind of mucked it up. Um, so there's currently rail replacements on until further notice. Until this weekend, it has been pretty much about 40-50% of the rail replacement vehicles, I think even more than that at some point, have been have been buses, double deck mainly, and a few single deck. From this weekend though, the main company that do the express services from both Manchester stations to Bolton Direct um, uh, can't do it from this weekend onwards. Um, so it's our last weekend of them doing it, that's tires as they have school contracts to cater for next week. This basically means that these services have to use buses due to the fact that they have to be low floor vehicles. Um, so the problem face, or well, they don't have to be low floor vehicles, but it's nice for them to be deckers. So they have to basically try and be deckers. So they're going to have to try and get another operator in to run them basically. And there's not that many coach operators around Manchester to cater for anymore. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But it, the works were supposed to finish on the 27th of August, but they've extended until further notice. So all trains through Bolton are suspended until further notice. Um, but yeah, quite cool. Um, but that's the problem. Manchester's a nice place, but as I say, I am going to really miss the Omni City Bendy's because that was like one of the last things that the old buried up for help. Another flipping 20 quid note. 20 quid note, 20 pound note. Oh gosh. In life, man. Um, this is what makes bus drivers a two, four, six, eight. You can't complain about little change, and I never gave you any. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 15, 20, 35. Shame I can't give notes out. Unless I'm missing something, I've never ever given any notes out in all so if somebody knows where you can give out notes on these, do let me know. I think it's one of like the num keys, isn't it? That's because because I don't have the num keys, I don't have the accessibility to give out notes. Because if I did, I'd have given the ten and the five. And yeah, it'd have made my life easier. But as I say, because I don't have num lock on the laptop, I've never done it. I do, I do, but I don't. It, it's all weird, and I don't like to do it. I shouldn't really be going this fast along here. I don't think you can go fast this fast along here in real life, but we're not in real life, are we? We're, we're driving in game. Oh, come on, let's see how long we've been doing it for. 44 minutes, let's see if I can get this done in under an hour. Stop, you lag! 
Okay, no, I can't stuff your lag. If you if you start bouncing on me, I can't do it. I can't physically have a mid-air bus. Doesn't work like that. Uh, let's jog in front to see if I can load it in before it goes mental. Should I be loaded in now? Why is it so slow? I've just gone up there and loaded the whole flipping map in and it's still so what? What? I'm confused. Oh, it's because it's on to load in that area as well. This is the problem with having tiles and omza instead of like having specific routes. So if like this is what I believe should have really happened with omza. I, I think they should have really done it so that Oh, I'm not gonna break in time, no! Oops! Damn, I'm blaming lag, I'm blaming lag for that. I'm blaming lag for that. That's a good thing, I, ha I can blame something. Oops! That is very close. Let's just wait here. Um, but, I have lag, I have lag to blame. But yeah, I don't know. What, I don't know what else to talk about. This is the problem when I have long videos like this. I run out of things to talk about, and that is hard for me to say. To run out of things to talk about and discuss. It's quite, it's quite worrying to be honest, because I don't run out of things to talk about regularly. Trust me, love. If I were you, and I'd have just seen a bus go through a red light, I want to jump on it. But don't, don't question me. You know, I do love doing YouTube. I know that quite a few people do criticise me for doing it. And, but it's one of the last major things I have in, ch in forms of success at the moment. Um, I'm not saying my life's reached an all time, though it certainly hasn't. But. I just mean it is, it is one of the most successful traits I hold currently. So with everything popping up and everything that's changing and exams and all that load of rubbish, it is nice to come back and do something that I have always loved doing that is recording a good old YouTube video. Just ace to do it, and it, it, it'll never get old. The concept of recording YouTube will never get old. There are probably some people will probably start streaming, but why can't people go up to bus stops a bit sooner? For goodness sake, we're having to slam on all the time. One minute they look like they're fucking walking. Okay, I'm not even. I can't be bothered giving you a change of tenor. <laughs> There you go, with, with some sort of early. I do actually know this way where I just put root markers up the hell of it. Because I've done, I've done this route long enough, I've done like, I think one day I did three round trips on this. During peak time, because I just, uh, this is the bit that I was on about that suffers heavily from congestion. This and Ashby Centre. Um, these two suffer really badly from congestion. Like if you park up just before Ashley, Ashby, those traffic lights can cause a massive tailback and so can this area. But, uh, but it's nice and realistic, it, it adds that element of realism. Like this bit, this side, I'm on about that, the camera's currently on. This bit you can get heavily delayed on if you're a boss. It, like, it, it'll, all, it'll all of a sudden just stop and then start moving. And I think it's just that level of realism. It's the fact that there's a queue there, but it is going to move. Like sometimes in Omni you can create queues, but that means that there's something wrong or something's AI's gone buggy or whatever. But here yeah, it is legitimate, like queues and congestion and I love that element of realism. For goodness sake, dirty lag.
car. How are we on now? Five, nine minutes. We're not going to make this in an hour, are we? We're running ten minutes early, though. So... So, basically, if we were on a high-spec PC now, this video would have finished 20 minutes ago. Basically. I usually wait to hear people moving on this. And then I know there's people getting off. Oh look, that's the um, other number six in front of us. Uh, should have really caught it up to be honest with you. Because usually when I drive this um, on my own and just in my free time, I do. I do tend to actually wait a good five minutes in real time at the timing point that I call at Ashby. It's Ashby Town Centre going and Ashby Town Centre coming back. I do wait there a fair bit. Um, but today I thought, stuff it, let's catch up the bus in front. Oh look, we've got number nine in front of us as well. It's like all the all the bus routes I've driven. Number nine, number six, number six. But yeah, it's, it's nice doing on the videos. I just I want to do something a bit shorter next time. I don't know, this is going to take an hour to record. Train to be a bit. Train me things to say, but at least you guys know all your updates now. I'll probably end up pressing the end recording when I'm done. And I'll have never missed something. Well, but hey I suppose that's how it goes. You can't do you can't be perfect. Oh, someone wants to ding a ding. I like how the number six that I've caught up to is quieter than me. Kind of saying to about time steps. But this is what I mean, this is the kind of like FPS level I should really get, and I really do want to get a proper PC. But I need to get a proper chair first. As the chair that I've sat on for probably over a year with this PC desk has kind of given way. I'm currently sat on something that is leaning to one side that at least once a week I have to pull the legs apart so that it doesn't con concave in itself. So, yeah, it's alright as a chair, but I do want to get something else. So, hopefully, I can get some sort of chair that does it. I speak and I say that oh it's going to be brilliant coming into the bus station and then it does that and it just freezes. So I'll stop in the uploading bin and I'll park up by that staggy bus. this video I do apologize it's been so long I hope that I haven't blabbered on too much I know sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm like a this thing. I know sometimes I blabber on a bit too much do honestly let me know in the chat if I do just if you guys are looking for something else in the video do let me know because I try and bring what I believe you guys want to see in the video so if I'm not achieving that in any way or form do please let me know because I want to cater for you guys that are the audience that are the people that gain from the channel um, although I do quite enjoy it. So, it's been a nice video. Apologies for how long it's been and apologies as usual for the lag. Hopefully, again, I will get it sorted. I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. 
pause it now, otherwise it'll end the world. So thank you guys for watching. Please do like and subscribe. If you have questions, just you need to download those there to ask me in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and I do hope to see you in the next stream, vlog, video, whatever I make. Bye for now. Bye.